are going to cover the nature of mother, electrical current, batteries, conductors and isolators, type of circuits, cranking and uh, charging systems, DC panels and the dashboard. Yes, the last chapter is the dashboard, the last two chapters, the DC panel and the last board. We are going to do the wiring of a complete uh, boat, the DC portion of the boat, including the dashboard with the fuel gauge, if, uh, oil temperature sensor, uh, all of the sensors, all the gauge, the tachometer, the hour meter, the ignition switch, the alternator, the start motor, all of those equipments integrated with the DC panel and the group of batteries. And the number in the bottom is the atomic mass. The atomic mass or weight of an atom is determined by the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. Remember, the electrons are a little small and uh, they have less weight and they are, they, are, they are spinning around the nucleus. The periodic table is organized in groups. There are eight, eight principal groups. Group number one, group number two, group number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Those are the eight principal groups in the periodic table. And this group in the middle, the name is transition metals, and we are going to talk later about that specific group located in the center, located in the middle. Suppose that I have lithium, and a lithium uh, have uh, three electrons or three protons in the last orbit. Uh, the atomic number of lithium is three. What is the meaning of that? In the nucleus, in the nucleus, there are three protons plus other neutrons. I don't know how many neutrons are. This is not important. But uh, in the orbits, in the orbits, in the last orbit, one electron, and in the previous orbit, two electrons. Ah, what is the meaning of that? In total, in total, three electrons. What about those elements with eight electrons in the last orbit? When, when an element has eight electrons in the last orbit, that element is considered stable. When an element has eight electrons in the last orbit or zero, the element is considered stable. Let me explain something. The electrons are spinning around the nucleus, but additionally, each electron is spinning through your axis, that the spin of the electron. They orbit around the nucleus and additionally they spin. Okay, if you have seven electrons in the last orbit spinning each one, uh, it is a lot of energy. What happened if the oxygen found it one, one atom of calcium in the environment? Calcium, calcium, calcium. How many electrons have a calcium in the last orbit? Calcium is in the group number two and Calcium have two electrons in the last orbit. What element have more energy, more electronegativity in between oxygen and calcium? Of course, oxygen, because oxygen is located in this corner and calcium is here, low energy. Ah, what is the element that attract the electrons? Oxygen. And what is the element that release the electrons? Calcium, because calcium have low energy. Ah, in that particular case, what is the more noble element? Oxygen. And the less noble? Calcium. What is the name of that molecule? O2. O2. My friends, when you breathe oxygen, you breathe O2. No single oxygen. If you breathe single oxygen, that's not good. I'm going to explain right now what happened. You breathe, you breathe O2. That's the oxygen in the environment. And this is the oxygen that you need to learn. to continue in this business. Oxygen. Okay, let me check the molecule of O2. What happened with that molecule? All right, we have two oxygens. We have uh, two oxygens, and each oxygen, each oxygen with six electrons in the last orbit, six and six, and six and six, and how many electrons need each atom? to be stable, A and A, or zero and zero. In this particular case, they can share 
they can share two electrons together and they have A and A and the molecule is good. Mm, but uh, that business is not permanent. Uh, that business is temporary. With any other uh, ex external situation, the atoms are separated and the molecule is separated. Mm -hmm. This relation is covalent, covalent bonding. Uh, it's not permanent. This is non-permanent, non-permanent.